This is the before and this is the after. Hey everyone, this is Famtime I'm back with another Kitty Plasmatic Stock Customization video and today I'm going to show you how to get this Nord color palette look for your Kitty Plasma desktop. So someone commented on one of my previous customization videos that I should try a Nord theme. So here I am customizing this desktop with the Nord color palette and I'm going to be using the Nordic theme for this customization. So let's just start the tutorial. Hey guys, so the first thing that we're going to do is change the wallpaper. So for that, let's go to the browser so guys as you can see I have selected a few wallpapers over here so you can find all the links of these wallpapers down in the description below so all you have to do is just scroll down and then find the resolution for your desktop so mine is this one so I'm gonna click on it and then click on download wallpaper then right click and then save the image and that's it then right click on the desktop then configure desktop and then here click on add image and then go to downloads and then select all the wallpapers click on open and then select the wallpaper then click apply now that we are done with the wallpaper so let's close it so the next thing that we'll do is change the theme so for that go to the system settings and then here go to global themes then click on get new global themes and type nordic so what you want to do is install this one nordic kde so all you have to do is just click on install and once you have installed that close it and then select nordic and click on apply now that i have applied the global theme let's go to the plasma style and here make sure that nordic is selected now if you apply the global theme it will automatically change the settings for you so you don't have to worry about that but still you can just go to plasma style and check if nordic is selected then go to application style and then here go to window decoration and then make sure that nordic is selected here as well now go to title bar buttons and here i will just quickly remove this one and this one and then click on apply and once you've done that let's close it go back and go to colors and here again select nordic click apply then go to icons and then click on get new icons and type nordic now this is the icon pack you should be installing nordic folders icon pack so once you install that select that one nordic darker and then click apply and then go back and then we're gonna go to the startup and shut down and here i'll select nordic click apply type a password click ok then go to splash screen and here select nordic as well then go back and we're pretty much done here so i'm gonna close it and then i'll go to the software center and here search for kvantum manager and install kvantum manager and once you have installed that one as well close it then go to the browser and then go to this nordic kvantum page you can find the link of this page down in the description below as well so no need to worry about that so all you have to do is just scroll down go to files and then select nordic.tar and then just basically download the zip file click on save file click ok and you have downloaded the .tar file so let's close it okay so let's go to the downloads directory now and here as you can see this is the nordic.tar file so let's go ahead and extract it so once we have extracted that close it and then search for kvantum manager then here select a kvantum theme folder then go to downloads and then select nordic click ok and then click on install this theme now i have already done that so it is telling me that do you want to overwrite it i'll click yes and then go to change your delete theme and here look for nordic and then select that and click on use this theme and basically it will change the theme so let's close it now let's go to system settings and then go to application style and here select kvantum dark and click on apply now once you've done that close it then go to file manager and here as you can see the theme has been applied so let's do some customization over here so uh, right click on the toolbar and then click on lock toolbar position on the left side there is a dot sign over here so i'm gonna i'm gonna click on it and drag it on the left side and then do some customization over here as well so hide this one show panels okay so we are done over here 
So I've customized the file manager. So let's close it. Now it's time to install the dock. So go to the terminal. Now guys, we are in terminal here. So let me just show you how to change the theme of the terminal as well. So all you have to do is just right click, click on edit current profile. And from here, go to appearance and then go to get new. And here search for Nord. And what you want to do is install this one Nordic console. And once you've done that, close it. And then here search for Nordic and select that. Click on apply, click on OK. And this will apply the Nordic theme on your terminal as well. So we're in terminal and we're going to install the doc now. So I'll type sudo apt install latte doc. And this is pretty much it. It will install the doc now. So once this is done, close it. And here search for latte and as you can see guys this is the dock so i'm gonna right click on this old panel over here and click on edit panel and then click on screen edge and move it to the top okay so this is our dock now so i'll right click on the dock and go to dock settings and here click on advanced then appearance and then here you can do a lot of tweaking on the dock just some personal preferences so yep so let's do some customization over here so i think this kind of looks all right but you can do some more customization over here if you want but this kind of works for me now let me show you how to add applications on the dock so all you have to do is just open a application that you want to add on the dock so let's say let's say this one so all you have to do is just right click on the application and then click on pin launcher and this will add the application on the dock all right so this is how you add application on the dock now let's see what else so let's do some customization over here so i'll make the height a bit smaller like this all right so next i'll add a widget so let's go get new widgets and then download new plasma widgets and here i'll search for clock and then install this one split digital clock and then install this one plasma fancy clock and once you've done that close it and then add widgets and then here search for clock fancy clock this one so i'm gonna put it on the desktop and then do a little bit of customization on the clock so make it a little bit bigger like this then configure let's hide the date all right this looks nice then change the color to maybe like this okay then turn down the opacity a little bit okay so this looks nice i'm gonna click on okay so we are done with the clock so let's add the date now So let's go to add widgets again and this time I'll take the fancy clock again but but this time I will hide the time change the color all right put it in the middle city maybe like this okay so this looks nice click on okay and yep so we are getting close of finishing this customization the last thing that we're going to do is go to browser and then go to this github page and you can find the link of this page down in the description below now let's scroll down over here and copy this command and then go to the terminal not this then go to the terminal and paste it over here press enter have your password all right press y press enter and guys once this is done i'm gonna close the terminal and then right click on the panel add widgets and then go to get new widgets and then download new plasma widgets and here i'll search for panel and then install it once i've done that close it and then right click add widgets and search for panel and then drag it on the desktop now let's just quickly play something to show you how the pattern works so guys as you can see this is 
looking pretty good so I'm gonna put it over here now I need to customize this because it doesn't look that good so I'm gonna right click configure panel and then you can just hide the background alright so configure panel and then here go to visual effects then download new effects and here I will download this one and maybe this one as well let's just download this one as well let's see which one looks the best so once I've downloaded these effects new effects so I'll close it and then search for the new effect uh, let's say maybe this one click apply and uh, this doesn't do look that good so let's try another one I don't like this one either so let's just stick with this one this is my favorite so yep this is it let's put it in the middle aligning with the date maybe like here or maybe you can just put it over here you can change the value to see which one looks good Okay, so let's stick with this one this kind of all right so I'm gonna close it so this is how it looks not too bad I guess all right so this is kind of it so I'm gonna right click on the edit panel and then here click on more settings and then auto hide and this will make the top panel out of the screen when you're not using it so yep all right so let's add some effects now so search for effects and then go to desktop effects and here i will search for all right so this is a bit of animation over here we can see that when i close a window it has this breaking kind of animation which is not that bad you can turn it on you can turn it off if you don't like it so all you have to do is just search for fall apart and this is the animation so you can just select this one or dislike this one so yep I mean these effects are not super efficient I would say but you can try it if you want I don't like using these effects that much let's just try it off so one is magic lamp and then another one is where did it go this one fall apart so deselect that and click ok so you can try those animations if you want but i don't like this that much it kind of takes the minimalistic desktop vibe away from it so let's change the wallpaper like maybe like this one this is pretty cool i like this wallpaper or maybe like this one this is alright there's this last wallpaper that you can use and that is this one this kind of fancy so if you want a fancy kind of look so this is what you can do so you can just do some customization over here like you can move it down over here and then change the color pick a color like maybe like this one click apply so you could do change the color of the clock over here uh, you can move the clock if you want like on the left side or maybe on the right side okay guys so this is it thank you for watching the video and if this video was helpful then you can give it a like and subscribe and even if you don't that is totally all right and if you do then that will be really helpful and i will really appreciate that and stay safe stay healthy and i will see you in the next video and of course guys please do suggest me some more customization ideas that you want to see me doing uh, if you have any idea in your mind that that i should try this kind of customization then 
please do suggest me i will try to make videos on those and also let me know what kind of distribution you're using and if you want any customization on that particular distribution like ubuntu linux mint or pop os or anything what kind of distribution you're using and if you want any customization video on that so i will try to make it so yeah that is it guys thank you for watching and i will see you in the next video